If you openly support Ukraine, you go to the list of foreign agents. The list was recently added with the name of the leader of the Russian rock band Nogus Velo, Maxim Pokorovsky. According to the Ministry of Justice of the Federation, the musician who lives in the United States openly supported Ukraine, including by raising funds and actively interacted with foreign structures. Pokorovsky has already commented on his new status. For us, it is some form of slavery. We are not going to accept this form of slavery at all. This is the putting up of dice. These are the given information of the foreign agent. What I want to say, I am ready to put up these dice after Putin himself puts up dice in his speeches, that he is an official suspect of the International Criminal Court and that he has a subpoena. Maxim Pokrovsky and his band Nogus Velo openly opposed the war. Not so long ago the team released another anti-war composition. Well, now this is romance in Russia. This is the prestige in Russia. It turns out in Russia it's good to go to the draft board. Normally. The family will also get money. Prison logic. Logic is generally the one on the earth. But nevertheless, prison aesthetics, prison expressions, prison habits, they were instilled in Russia in this country of slavery to put it mildly, for decades. Filmmakers and documentarians are also not left out. For example, the journalist of the project Important Stories and the author of the film I Killed Katya Femina managed to recreate in detail the events during the occupation of the village of Andreevka in the Kyiv region. She was able to record video interviews with Russian servicemen. This one here will make a splash in our troops if you publish it. I understand that they will put me in jail for all this information. Not even what I did in Ukraine, but for that information I will give you. I just want to confess everything and explain what is happening in the country. Katya Femina documents war crimes committed by the Russian army. I was just gathering evidence of war crimes for our investigation. Everything happened by chance, just in case we decided to film me calling the military. We were sure that no one would answer us, but they answered. And in the end we sat in the office until the very night, talking with them. We listened with open mouth, no one expected this. When the call ended, we realized that we should make a story out of this. Katya Famina, author of the documentary I Killed, in a command for Car Time. Those Russians who can't actively voice their opposition to the Kremlin's policies have found another way to defend their opposition. The journalists of the publication Doxa talked to people who write letters to political prisoners. They believe that such correspondence gives prisoners positive emotions. Art historian and activist Anna Mezhova has been writing letters since 2019. In general, I understood from the beginning the importance of both the letter and the fact that people who are behind bars need it. I went to this for quite a long time. And here are the regular evenings of letters, the stories of people who were published in the media at that time, about how they received letters and how it supported them. Or, on the contrary, people who correspond with political prisoners share how happy it is to receive answers. It all worked together. And at some point I started texting. Anna Mezhova, art critic and activist in a command for Doxa. Any anti-war statements in Russia are severely persecuted. During the year of the Russian-Ukrainian war, the security forces detained about 20,000 people, opened about 450 criminal cases and drew up 25,000 protocols. Reported by Srihikulas, Angelika Brushnevska, UATV News.